the fire that continue to come in. Hallelujah. And listen to me as we end this meeting today. As this meeting comes to an end, you are the next person to testify. The better your aim and your testimony is the next. I don't like your amen at all. Celebrate grace wherever you are. We now call out our testifier. As you know your name, please double up and come to the front. We the Guzi. We the Guzi. Quick Wilson. Quick Wilson. And Rose P. Myers. Rose P. Myers. Please, you have to double up. As you hear your name, please join your hands together as our testifiers are making their way to town. As you celebrate them, your own testimony is the next. I don't like your amen at all. Listen to me. Whether you are here, you are in radio land, you are watching any part of the world, as you connect yourself to this meeting tonight, grace is locating you, power is locating you, and your own testimony is the next. The better your aim and your testimony is confirmed. Join your hands together and celebrate this. Now let me our testify. Hello, what's your name? Where are you from? And what is your testimony? My name is Queen Johnson, Queen Wesley. I'm from Nigeria, Sharp, for Puffy. My testimony. This morning, when I've been to the house, my mind gave me a full money. When I'm going in my get, when I can't shoot, I can buy coal. And she just said, I can forget about the food and be eating or fire coal. Or if anyone be like me. My mom been bleeding for one month now. My hand is inside it. There's a woman, me and her in a scene, me and her in a scene group. She knew she had me, she cried me from this morning. I've been so, the morning my mom woke up me, she said I should come to church. I go in the bathroom, I mean, the mom started talking, she started talking, so I should confuse my mom for me to not come to church. My mom was still paying me for me to come. So I had myself, I should I wear my clothes, I follow my mom. But this morning, the word of God was praying, the Holy Spirit grabbed me when I fell on the ground. I just feel a crown moving from on my head. Look at them! Celebrate this whenever you are. I don't like your amen at all. The battle your amen, you are the next to testify. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. This little girl said to me, she said she was initiated as a witch. She said for each time they are laying down whenever she lie on her back she will disappear from the room and she will find herself in their witch kingdom. And she said they told her in their waste kingdom that she should kill her mother. And what she did here was that she sent a bleeding sickness on her mother. For one month, this sickness had been on her mother. And she said to me that for each time her mother is going to the hospital, she will go alone with her mother. While the doctor are working on her mother, she will enter into the room. She will enter into the spirit room and begin to laugh at her mother. She said she was even told that she should kill her mother. 
and she was about to do so. This morning, her mother appointed about this meeting. Her mother told her that they should come for the meeting. And then she said, while she was bathing, the woman that crowned her, the woman appeared to her and told her that she should discourage her mother so that they should not come for this meeting. And then she said her mother continued to mount pressure on her and they came for the meeting. While my father was praying and releasing the fire all over the place, she said the fire took over her. And then she realized that the crown that they put on her, the crown immediately dropped. Hallelujah. As I'm talking to you now, she said, in the dark war, when her crown dropped here, she lost her position. Hallelujah. To the glory of God, as I'm talking to you now, she delivered from the power of darkness. Celebrate grace wherever you are. Now let me have our next testifier. Hello, what's your name? Where are you from? And what is your testimony? My name is Wido Guse. I'm from Kowe, a local town near the Kiale Church. My testimony is after the men of God say we should bring our title report because I've been, I've been sick with a back pain. Really, the work I can do, the strength I used to get before, I can't get that strength anymore. The how you used to be strong in business, no way. How you will get pain on you, then you say you want to be strong in business, it can't work. So, almost one year and a half, I've been with a problem. But when the man of God praying, he said, The angel coming, visit you. You, you on radio, uh, you, in, uh, you, you in radio lane. Whatsoever you are, take all your title report. I read from a title report because the title told me that in JFK, he said you will tell me carrying a pin here. That only pin tablet will get you trauma door to stop the pain. But we can't do anything. I say you go outside world to go for operation because the back here really hurting me. So I decide every time I can pray, but stay the back, stay healthy. So I uh, said, men of God were praying. Say, take on your title report. I go for the, the, the paper, the title report. And the s ray paper. I brought it. I was desperately praying as he was praying. I was praying. I was interesting. I said, today I must be cute. I said, I said, men of God were praying. He said, whatsoever. Put your hand on whatsoever place in feeding. I put my hand on my back. As he was praying, I fear the pain leaving my back and my heart. I was healed. Look at that. Are you just looking like that? Are you just looking like that? Somebody shout. Every day I have to take pill tablet before I can go in the market. Every day I take two pill tablets and two uh, 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 something like low rest pill tablet that like I can double every day. If I take it, I can make it. But from the time the man of God pray, I realize something new for him in my back. I realize it. I bless God so much for him. You know, I just want to be grateful grateful to God to bring the kind of man of God in this country to really serve to really take all the things that really the captivity we in to really take it for us I bless God so much for him look at that your own testimony is the next I don't like your amen at all listen to me as grace will cater her in radio land Listen to me. Once you are here and you connect yourself to the grace of this house tonight, or whether you are watching and a part of the world, you are the next to testify. I don't like your amen at all. The better your amen, your own testimony is the next. Celebrate grace wherever you are. 
Nala here at the next testifier. Hello, what's your name? Where are you from? And what is your testimony? I'm Rose P. Myers for Tingo Spanish. I came to spend time with my oldest brothers. But since I was born, I've been carrying the sickness, asthma, from hospital to hospital, from tablet to pump, when I was even schooling at that time. A wedding used to give me tough time. But since I give a spin time, they've been talking with me every day. I came to a church last night. When I came here, I decided to pray. I brought my poem with me. And if you will carry any sickness or low, you must put your trust in God and get it fit. As I was praying, I brought water with me. I prayed last night and I drank the water. When I went to bed, I came back this morning. When the men were praying, I dropped. When I dropped on the ground, they brought me here. The heart, he started praying over us. When I came to myself, my chest was burning. When I came to myself, as now I'm talking, I didn't even bring a poem with me. We had a poem, and I didn't even used to walk around. But at least I tell God, thank you for it. Look at that, celebrate this. Celebrate this, whatever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one day, since she was born, she was born with asthma. And she said she could not move about without this pump, the asthma pump. But this morning during the first section, while my father was praying, the power of God hit her. And she said, as I'm talking to you now, she has been delivered. The power of God has healed her. Celebrate grace whenever you are. Listen to me. The atmosphere is charged. What you need to do, don't miss what is about to happen. Because what is about to happen yet, this night will be happy in your interest. And you will come back here with a testimony. The better your aim and your testimony is confirmed. Somebody shout! Celebrate this whenever you are. Thank you. God bless you. Clap your hands for Jesus wherever you are. Clap your hands for Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Then give God a wave wherever you are. Take something in your hand and wave it. Take something and wave it. something and wait it. Can you just give a one praise song? Can somebody do that for us? I will look at you, Papa. I will look you, Papa. I will look at you, Papa. Forever to you, I thank you, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank <laughs> you. 
such a wonderful time we have seen God move we have fasted and prayed we have long been awaiting for such a day in our time in our generation we have seen men being afflicted we have seen people living with trouble pains but we believe and been praying to God to help us it brings up freedom and to God be the glory all we expected in life may not be seen but I believe God has started the process you say amen I am talking to you I want to take this time to say thanks ever so much to every one of you I and my team want to take up time to say we want to thank the community, Kabak community, for the acceptance, giving us the opportunity at least to be able to come and share the word of God with people. We appreciate the community and community leaders. We appreciate you a lot. Even those of you in the community who didn't stay in, you came out to hear the word of God. I want to say God bless you. God richly bless you. And let me take this time to say thanks to the team. You have really been at your best. Really, 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 really been at your best. This is a movement that we are on. It begins from here. By God's grace, moving to where God is leading us. By God's power from here, we're supposed to be in Corway. Corway. ETMS for page. That is in March. By God's power. That is our next target. We believe in God to move in that direction. Hallelujah. Those of you that supported this thing to make it happen by your presence. Whatever means, I want to say God bless you. Thank you ever so much. Only God can pay you for that. To my colleagues, the young pastors in our generation, Pastor Eric, Pastor Wule, Emmanuel, Pila, Elwa, Elin, T. Morabasi, Kula, and everybody. I want to say God bless you. I like you to clap for them. Amen. We say thanks to God for the visiting pastors from other ministries that are here. I want to say God bless you. It's hard to be. I mean, it's very, very difficult, rather, to find people like you in our time. You know, they're going there for one another. To be here, I'd like to say God bless you. We can join the anointing together to be a blessing to people. We appreciate your presence here from wherever church you came from. Pastor, praying mother, we'd like to say you are highly welcome. Thank you for being with us all the time. Hallelujah. 
for our wonderful praise team who have been bringing up music and our instrumentally just clap for them for their services they have been very tough that clap offering I really can carry that one home God bless you our engineers are making work here my personal team, the media, Vision FM, the hardworking radio station in Liberia that helps souls to be transformed. I want to say God bless all the staffs there. You're doing well. God bless you. Love all the staffs at Vision FM. If you even cannot make your way here, they bring the gospel close to you. They do all they can to make you hear it. And I'm also grateful to be privileged to honor the Laban National Police for contributing to this program. If you will give a hand of blood and a clap offering for the National Police, it's going to be a blessing for you and I. Clap for them. Thank you ever so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want, I, I want us to take this time to see our chair lady and the assistant there Mom Monique. What, what, what is she? Can you stand up? Alright. This is a chairperson. This is a leader for the movement. Followed by all the great people. Amen. Just clap for her, whatever you are. Give her a wonderful clap offering. God bless you. These are people that are working hard. To make this thing happen. Amen. And I want you to clap for yourself. Whatever you are, just clap for yourself. Thank you, Jesus. Clap for yourself. And shout hallelujah. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Are you ready to finish it one time? Are you sure you are ready? All right, let me just give you a little short testimony. A few hours ago, I was, I was in a place of rest. I was in a place of prayer. I was in a place of rest. Resting. Then I found myself somewhere else. Not yet. I saw people like this. People like you. Wonderful people like you. All around. So, it's like I was, I was held in between. And some good black me. <laughs> in, in a vision I wasn't really sleeping and they said I wasn't going to come you know on the program so they set up a long hill in front of me so I try to claim the hill the more I try to claim it go higher and higher and higher then <laughs> the Lord spoke a word in my ears he said Abraham Abraham all I wanted to do is that I'm not manifesting as a person. I'm manifesting through a word. He said, tell the mountain to be removed from between you and the people. Three hours ago, I was, I was in the place of rest. And then I said, mountain. I just, I just used a word. I said, mountain, please. I'm appealing to you. Time is already out. You have nothing to do. Move. Huge mountain. As soon as I said that, <laughs> the place got level. Wash. That place that got level from before me and you, today, every mountain before you, if your amen is the louder, if your level today, I said that mountain is level today. It's level today. It's level today. Let your amen come alive. Say don't say I'm following you now. In Matthew 13, I want to read verse 24. Matthew chapter 13. Okay, let me just read 28 and we'll move on. The Bible says in 24, a parable about the kingdom of God. Another parable.
have not put forth unto them, say, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which so well good seeds in his field. But why men sleep, his enemy king and so trip among the wheat. And when it's way, but when the blade was spring forth, or spring up, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the trait also. So the seven of the household came and said unto him, Sir, they don't die so good see in the field. For where? For where is then had a tree? Verse 28. And he said unto them, An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. A very beautiful fee. A fee that comes with a good brother. But the way the fee was planted with beautiful seed. Why we see the Bible said an enemy king and the planted in the sea among the seas we planted. I'm not talking to somebody here. But now watch this. The same Bible says the enemy king and the soul sea on a way to us. Yeah, this every good thing in your life is what God intend and God meant for you. All the bad thing that is happening to you, ladies and gentlemen, the enemy must be investigated. This evening, whatever case or situation or problem or challenge that you find yourself in, the enemy that did that to you, you say, Amen, we got out them this evening. <laughs> If your amen is the louder, we got on them this evening. Amen. I said we got on them this evening. Amen. We got on them this evening. Amen. We got on them this evening. Amen. Whatever the enemy has sold in your life, we will tell one prayer. Maybe I say, my father, my father, say as I pray, I shall pray. Every evil see, every evil see. Blend that in my life. Blend that in my life. That God, that God has not planted. Has not planted. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. By the virtues of the grace of God. By the virtue of the grace of God. By the presence of the power of God. By the presence of the power of God. I will not live from here. I will not live from here. With the seas of the enemy. With the sea of the enemies. In my feet. In my feet. As I pray. As I pray. Every sea. Every sea. Planted by the enemy. Planted by the enemy. In my in my family, in my family, in my life, in my life, in my destiny, in my destiny, your rooted, 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 your rooted,
in heaven. Michael and his angel fight against the power that declare war in heaven. And then the Bible said the dragon fought against the woman that had the Messiah. The dragon wanted to frustrate humanity. But Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. That is the OHS serpent. Listen to me. We are not just preacher. We are not just man of God. We are not just microphone and Bible carrier. We are anointed to fight war and the power that is threatening you and the force that is threatening you will not feet step on this altar by the fighting of the cross of God. They lost their hope. I said they lost their hope. They lost their hope. They lost their hope. They lost their hope. Let's go and shout amen to this are you here tonight? I'm not talking to somebody here. John the Baptist said, I believe in Matthew 11, he said from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, tell your neighbor, say, we just bring violence one for all. Because we try gentleness, it's not working. We try fasting and prayer, it's not working. Ladies and gentlemen, whoever used their mouth to swear you, use their mouth to say channel you. That's my mouth, I use it on the microphone. I said fire in a canton. I said I said fire in a canton. Any man or woman who just go to kiss you for nothing, they say I don't just like her, and because of what they say, they collect your clothes or they collect something that belongs to you. They took your photograph, they collect your photos, and they went to a come on and they sat down and they begin to call your name. I pray for you today. The altar that they sat on and they mention your name. I stand on this altar. I speak about today. I will call your name. The next time they mention your name, I send fire there. Let your enemy come the light. Let it come the light. Say that say I hear yeah, you, sir. I hear you, sir. Are you here this evening? Yes, sir. Are you following me now? Are you following me now? Yes, sir. Watch me. The Bible says in Judges, in chapter 6. In Judges chapter 6, the Bible figure out a man by the name of Gideon. Gideon was a man like you and I. He was a man in flesh. He was a man with the future. He was a man with God in ten. He was a man that God wished best and better for. He was a man that God had an intention for. But if you study your Bible, Gideon's problem was not Osalo. Gideon's problem was the family you were from. If you study your Bible, he was outside. This guy was a great man and he never knew. He said that he never knew. The father was a man who do enchantment and do evil see and see Sarah. According to the Bible, there's Gideon we know in the scripture. He has been living a life that nothing he cannot understand. But according to the Bible, one of these days, he was on the field. He was struggling. He met an angel. And the angel said to him, Oh, that Gideon, you mighty man of father. Gideon said to the angel, I tell you, call me a mighty man of father, ladies and gentlemen, that indicate it doesn't matter the condition now. You are something special. You might be looking at the way you are looking. There is a power that is responsible. Until now, you have not become anything. But I am here to tell you the power that holds you, that said you will not become nothing. We are confronting that power. I'm here this evening to contend with whatever that is continuous here for the first 500 people under the sound of my voice. 
whatever that is contending with you, the Holy Ghost contend with them. I prophesy to the first 500 people under the sound of my voice. The power that gets you behind the house at the backyard that nothing can happen for you. You cannot move in this life if your amen is still louder. They are broken tonight. 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 A mighty man of honor. He said, Me, a mighty man of honor? He said, Yes, you are a great man. He said, How? How can I be a great man? My family is the least. Anywhere you listen to me from, if you are from a local family, God says, We tell you in the next one month, you will be the champion of that family. I don't like that your amen at all. Maybe you are from a least family. My name is Apostle Koma. I'm from a least family. People see me like a rich man. But I'm from a nowhere family. But there is a God that can lift up a man. No man can bring it out. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. In the same yesterday, in the same today, in the same forever, once God say yes, no man can say no. Once God lift you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Grace is on your side. Favor is on your side. I did not care. I did not know. There is an everlasting God. There is no such thing as understanding. He gave a power to the faith. He gave a strength to the weary. The young men may fail. The youth may fall. They that wait upon the Lord. Your strength. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the control of the ungodly, that sitteth not in the seat, or scoff as a sinner. Blessed the Lord is in the Lord, in the Lord of the Lord. Do I meditate? He's like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Whatsoever he does, it shall prosper. After the service, he will prosper. After the meeting, you will prosper. After the program, you will shine. After now, you will explode. After now, you will show up. After now, you will manifest. After now, you will explode. 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 It's happening already. Sir. You say amen, something already living in you now. Hey, man. Hey, man. You say amen, something already living in you. Hey, man. You say amen, where was the king from? Sir. To monitor you. To spy on you. Yes, to say make sure. Yes, to resist you. Yes. The power of God resists that. Hey. Holy God resist that. Holy God resist that. Say I am I am all. 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 Sit down. Listen. Sit down. Follow me. Wait. The Bible says in Matthew Gospel, 
I believe in chapter 2, in verse 1, he said there was a king that was born, a baby born by a virgin. The Bible said that baby was born to be great. He was to be called the king of kings and the lord of law. But if you study the Bible, the baby was not born in a hospital. He was not born in a clinic. He was not born in an apartment. He was born in a cage, in a very small cage. But he was not born to remain in a cage. But because the enemy knew he was born to go around the world, so they kept him in a cage. But the Bible said why Jesus was in a cage. The mother never knew that in a cage, it means you are limited. In a cage, it means nobody identified you. I told the devil, I said, listen to me, my friend. I want to give you a few years. Then there's not my limit. And you're coming from out of the cage. Listen to me, yeah, yeah. There are some of you here today. The reason why you can't explore, you can't go far, you can't go forward because you are in the cage. But I got a cage key here tonight. Yes, oh, hey, 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 hey. hey. That cash they put you in. Yes, oh. The cash that kept your mother. Yes, oh. The cash that kept your father. Yes, oh. The cash that said you will not enlarge. Yes, oh. You will not go forward. Hey. You will not proceed. Hey. I take the key from them. Hey. I say I take the key from them. Hey. I open the cash. Hey. You escape tonight. Hey. I want to see you escape me. Hey. You escape tonight. Hey. You are scared tonight. You are coming out of the cage. You are coming out of the cage. You are going to nation. You will be the best businesswoman. You will be a best businessman. The cash is broken tonight. The cash is broken tonight. The space is broken tonight. I escape. I escape. I escape. I escape. I escape. Generation or Sila. <laughs> the last thing he said, Lift up your head, oh you gate. <laughs> yeah, 
place up to now. You are stay to where you are. The gate close in front of you. Listen to me. He said, lift up your head, or you get. We mean lift up, everlasting go. Let the king of glory come in. Lift up your head, or you get. I command the embassies of Liberia, the embassies of all nations. The gate is lifted to you. I pray for you wherever you are. Let me see. After the program today, yes, the gate that shut down before you, yes, the gate that blocked you for entering, yes, is open today. Yes, it's 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 open to you. The gate is open to you. I say it's open to you. You refuse it, I'm talking to you. If you collect it, I'm talking to you. You will see that I'm talking to you. The gate is open to you. The door is open to you. I see you walking in freedom. I see you walking in freedom. It's open up to you. It's open up to your children. It's open up to your generation. Say, Lord, you are. As you open it, I am entering. As you open it, I am entering. Sit up. Then give me a few minutes. Sit down. Wait. Wait. The world will soon know you as this. People will soon know <laughs> that there is that kind of person in that family. <laughs> My God, the devil is a liar. Let me first deal with satanic canopy that cover you, that cause people not to notice you. After the program, I take your face for your face. I say, I take the face for your face. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God, the mighty and one and only God, the Lion of the Trap of Judah, Yeshua and Mashiach, the Master God, I pray for every one of you. The canopy that cover you, the evil canopy that cover you, a cash fire. I say a cash fire. Said destroy it, destroy it. Demonic agenda, demonic agenda. Sit down, say I yet. Are you here now? Say I yet. Listen, let me share something with you. Let me make you also something you don't know about God. You see, God, it is not your worry to think about what of God coming to pass in your life. But the only role you have to play is to enforce it. But hear this. In other words, it's so open up for it. But the Bible says He speak a word and He perform it. Don't worry yourself. He will perform it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What caused God to perform the word is who speak the word. Once the person that speak the word, ladies and gentlemen, is from God, then God is ready to perform the word. So if I say get ready, the first 500 people, no matter where you are, get ready to boss in a different way. Amen. Say amen, 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 
say that. Be patient. Something is about to happen. Are you here? Tonight, I told you, I said, destroy satanic or demonic agenda. To destroy, I told you earlier, I said, I need to spoil. We just spoil in the one time, or I'll go back. Are you hear what I say? Before you spoil me, I spoil you today. Yes, sir. Before you destroy me, I destroy you today. Yes, sir. Before you finish me, I finish you today. Yes, sir. Before you kill me, I kill you today. Yes, you say amen, they die. Amen. amen. Whoever take you as a project or collected you as a project and they are working on bringing you down, they are working on destroying you, they are working on killing you. The next time they go work on you, Holy Ghost will take their life for in them. If your amen is allowed, the Holy Ghost fire them. Shall fire! Fire! Some of the people don't know. The Bible said that God that killed it, make it a life. God, something you don't know about God. He gave it life. He take it life. The life that deserves to be preserved, God keep it. The one that is not necessary to be around, that is frustrating other people, may God take the life from him after the service. Amen. said to me from now to December what he will do when he finish doing it wicked people will be few he said hey amen and start to enjoy your life hey! you understand you understand wait you understand you now understand you understand let's see Hey man, hey man, are you here? There's a guy called Hey man in the Bible. Hey man was a serious threat to the Jews. As long as Hey man with me in Babylon, the Jews could not see nothing in happiness. Hey man, are you hear what I say? The Jews never no threat for years. But trust me, hey man, mounted pressure on the Jews until God got tired and enter a lady called Esther. When he entered Esther, the Bible says he manipulated the king. And the king asked a question Who are they that mounted evil against the Jews? They gallow your dog or your hang. Hang the person only. For the king to live on his eyes. It was one of the strong men. The Jews never saw happen. When heaven was around. One. Pharaoh. Two. Haman. Three. The Philistine. As long as the company of people live. God's people were living a threat. God said to me. Evil. Evil. We minimize evil because the only way you can frustrate evil and said we frustrate the evil doers are you here say destroy it satanic demonic demonic ajana ajana destroy demonic ajana yeah this before I pray for you in the demonic war, there is an instrument and a channel that is used in this war that makes the enemy to take effect or cause their agendas to take effect. Now watch this. In this war, there is another war that I call the spiritual war. Is where destiny transaction take place. This is not a real war. The real war is in the spiritual war. Before a man go to bed at night 
and refuse to wake up the next day a means that have been something evil that has happened to him in the spiritual world but if you study your Bible well the Bible says in number I believe in 23 in verse 1 what I noticed is that when we were destroyed tonight the first thing I see that gave demonic people or evil people edge over destiny and over environment and over community is altar somebody say altar say it again say Altar. Say altar. The first demonic altar or platform or the first thing that needs to be destroyed tonight is demonic altar. I wish I talking to somebody. Are you here? Say demonic altar. Demonic altar. One more time again. Say demonic altar. Demonic altar. Number 23, verse 1 to 2. The Bible said Balak. Balaam said to Balak, raise me an altar and use a sacrifice on the altar against Israel. Balaam said to Balak, raise me seven altar. Number 23, raise me seven altar. Ladies and gentlemen, that are altars erected in communities, that are altars erected in family, that are some of you that are here. Your problem today is the altar erected in your family. I did not know who built the altar. Maybe before you came, the altar was erected by your great grandparents. I don't know who played the altar in the community. The altar that is suppressing people's future. The altar that's scattering your men's destiny. I don't know who built that altar. Any man or woman that built that altar. Any evil altar constructed. Any part of the environment. Or any part of your family. From the four corners of your family. I declare the Holy Ghost. The lightning of God. The rod of God. The thunder of God. To destroy them. You say amen, they are the shore. You say amen, they are the shore. You say amen, they are the shore. They are the shore. They are the shore. They are the shore. Are you here? Say destroy. Satanic altar. Satanic altar, ladies and gentlemen, listen. Altar is a stage or a platform where incarnations are made. Altar is a place where destinies are decided. Altar is a place where spirit take off a spirit lay. Altar is a place where destiny is wasted through sacrifice. When an altar is in a community to maintain the altar, to service the altar, they need somebody to start to place it on the altar. When an altar is in a community, young people lost their career. They lost their future. They lost their star. When an altar is in a community, young people begin to die because they use their blood to service the altar. When an altar is in a community, people destiny are twisted. I don't know the altar in your family that is affecting destiny. I break it down today. Those of you that will say amen will trouble Isa. If your amen can trouble, it breaks today. A pressure day, 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 a 
He said, come. He said, come in red auto. Come in red auto. Listen to He went to Bala. He paid Bala. He hired Bala against Israel. He hired Bala against Israel. Why? Because Israel's destiny was most valuable. Israel's destiny was great. So they wanted to frustrate them. So they went and paid Bala to come and build auto. Now listen to me. There are some of you that are here. The reason why you cannot understand understand nothing about yourself. Maybe someone pay auto in your knee. Every morning they will sit down. They begin to call your knee. Musuo, Kemao, wherever you are, scatter, scatter, scatter. If they sat down there and call your knee, so, I sit down here, yeah, I call their knee today. <laughs> Whoever make sure your knee will ever evil auto. Yes, sir. They die after the service here today. Yes, sir. And the author that have your name. Yes, and the author that have your identity. Yes, that have your Arika. Yes, that have your passport. Yes, that have your ministry. Yes, that have your car. Yes, that have your property. Yes, that have your life. Yes, that have your body. Yes, that have your hair. Yes, the cash fire. 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 Fire, 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 Demonic agenda. Destroy their altar. If you want to scatter honey beings, go for the honey net. Once you bring the net down, the honey beings will find somewhere else to go. After today, they are relocating from Keba. <laughs> I don't know where they're going. I'm not interested in where they want to go. I force them in the sea. I say I force them in the sea. I say I force them in the sea. The four corners of this environment. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Their altars are rooted out. Their altars are destroyed. Their altars Cash fire, the others are broken down. What a frustrating destiny! What a destroying your man! What a bringing career down! They are destroyed, they are burned down. The cash fire, they die. I am a fighter. Tell us, I follow you, a pastor. I follow you, a pastor. Listen to me. In military, when it comes to war, anywhere a military battalion put your tank is a base. Anywhere so your people put their tank, the base. Once you have an altar in a community, that place become a base. But today, we launch Holy Ghost attack in our base. Amen. Oh, we're not stopping here. We're traveling a long way tonight. We're passing to your mother's fairest place. We're visiting your mother's altar. Your great grandparents' mother. We visiting all their swamps. Yes, sir. We visiting all their altars. Yes, sir. We live from there. We pass to your father village. Yes, sir. That is the main village that need to catch fire. Yes, sir. We enter the creek. Yes. We go down to the water. Yes. The water that having your neighbor street. Yes, sir. We bring it out of there. Yes, we go back to the cutting tree. Yes, sir. In your father 
Yes. The cattle tree that planted that representing you as an image. Yes. We saw a dam by the Holy Ghost fire. Yes. We walk from the cattle tree. Yes. We pass around the coconut tree yes. that they are using as an image against you. Yes. We set fire on the coconut tree. Yes. We walk behind your mother house. Yes. Behind your great grandparent house. Yes. Anything planted against you. Yes. But the Holy Ghost fire today. Yes. We take care of a fire. We take care of a fire. I want to see you digging out. We take care of a fire. I said we take care of a fire. 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 We take Say, I won't come down. Say, listen. Let me share something with you. Listen very carefully. Let me tell you the power of altar. You see, altar? Altar is not just a place where enchantment is made. No. But I will tell you something. Altar produce object that is chanted on. Altar produce object. Listen, you know, there are people having object. They are using that incarnation was made on. And because of the incarnation made on that object, now it is the altar that produces the object. And it is the object that is frustrating destiny. Watch. Listen. When a demonic object is given to a person from a demonic altar, when you go to a place where there are people who are qualified, the person will take the demonic object to disqualify the qualifier. Now the reason why the qualifier are not to the qualifier position because there is a community that is producing demonic object. Now once the demonic object is being used by a person, when they go in the mess of people, that is the reason why we should understand that Christianity is not casual. When Christianity becomes casual, then Christians are frustrated. But we need people that will be angry at this in the spirit, in their spirit, because the generation we live in, people will look at people who are qualified but demand the object and they will not use it against you. Now, people travel, but they don't travel with the author, they travel with the object from the author. Hey, listen to me. Once an author is placed in an environment or an author is placed within a community, the first thing that happens, that atmosphere shut down. Any demonic author that is placed in a community, and now listen, demonic author produce territorial demons. Territorial demons produce hostage and limitation. So once there are territorial demons, it means that there are power that control the community. Now in that community, once it is the power that are in control, if you let build the bigger shop, that shop will go down. There are community churches don't go at a particular level. When it get to the level, it can stop there because the territorial power is responsible for that community. But when we root out the power from there and another power take over the power that is there, then everything then begin to grow. So after the program today, the power that is where around here. You say amen, we step on them today. Yeah. I don't like that's why amen at all. Yeah. I 
say, I don't like that for him at all. Amen. Say, don't say, I hear you, sir. I hear you, sir. Are you following me? Are you here? Are you here? All thoughts produce object. Okay. Just bear with me. I think I shout a little bit. Let me educate you. Small. Are you here? Now watch this. My wash. My wash. We live in a world where Christianity can become cash. My wash can be an object from the altar. Are you following me now? Now watch it very carefully. If I bring my watch here, and this is Baba altar, Baba will not speak directly. Altar always produces object, and object for straight people. Now, if you have a shop or a bully or a church, and someone is against you in the community, once Baba preside in that community, any small thing happening, they want to slow you down. When you go to Baba, Baba will not come himself. But Baba will take an object. He will talk to the object. He will speak to the object. He will give it to you. Then you will place the object in any part of your body. Then you will walk with the object. There are people today. That is the reason why we tell people. When, uh, when, 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 you, when, you, when you when you get to a place, when you tell people say ah you know like like like, like uh, thank you Holy Spirit. Who have the Adika? Adika. Let me show. Anybody have it here on your neck? Thank you very much. Bring the Adika. Okay, now this thing here. If you are against this Adika or the tech, you are a witch. Okay, now. This is an indication that you are worshiping a man. But this is an indication that you are bearing a prophetic material from the altar. Now watch this. Now if, if, if there's a demonic altar and then you chant on this thing and give it to me and I go for interview, I can disqualify the qualifier. Watch. You don't rub oil. You pray. You're not strong in prayer, but you get a master degree. You get a good certificate. Me, I get certificate. I know what you know, but I pass beyond Baba house and I take something. And the both of all go for interview. I will leave you dead. I'm not somebody here. Listen, let me tell you something. In this war, there is another war. I will say this to you. You don't have to die to know it. We are in a spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. You don't know people. You don't know people. Don't make Christianity a casual. Let me tell you where my, you, you can wear casual clothes. But Christianity, you got to be very arrogant. Very arrogant. to produce evil object now if i'm a man of god and then i stay from the altar and then i pray on the oil or the water or this thing the adica or the tear and then i give it to you anyone that sees this adica as a christian reasonable and have knowledge and can understand will know that this is something imaging okay the Bible says when a woman met Jesus, Jesus in the contest is an altar. If you study your Bible, the woman said, I want to move towards the altar. Are you following me? Now, how did I know that Jesus is an altar? Every altar has a priest. Jesus was the most high priest. If Jesus was the most high priest, then Jesus was an altar. Every priest has an altar. Are you there? The woman said, I will move to this altar. Follow me. She said, I'm going to this altar. I'm not touching the altar, I'm touching the object. What that woman touched was not the altar. She never touched the person. She touched what? The object. I wish I was talking here. 
follow me i don't know where you're listening or, or, or watching from follow me now when the woman heard that jesus were at that distance she made her way but she said to herself i just want to touch it be careful whatever the world people touching things you can be spiritual you can be spiritually educated i'm not somebody here when people touch things and they touch your husband he go when people touch the thing they can touch when they touch your decks you suck people can only touch what they normally touch when they touch what is valuable to you you lost it let's see we are in the days where we need our eyes to be open our life to be spiritual we need to understand spiritual indications and spiritual implication i'm not somebody here how to implement, implement or implicate spiritual activity if you don't know it you leave behind the woman did not touch the altar she didn't touch the person but she touched what the object for where the altar she said let me touch the garment if i touch the gum now the person will now the sense i want you to get there are you following me are you following what i'm saying she touched the clothes the clothes and from the day she touched the clothes the bible says the blood in the woman could drop the clothes You are Christian. You can pray. You can fast. You not gonna stay in church. You can pay ta ta can you argue? Offering you make complete. Yeah, you worry. How are you expecting to survive? I really want to know how some of us surviving in a generation. In a kind of time we live in. Let me say this to you. There are people who destiny are sponsored by author. Now follow me. If you study your Bible in Judges and in First Samuel, I begin to study this evening and I get to understand about David, Samson, and Saul. Do you know that the same Philistine that brought Gideon down, brought Samson down, was the same Philistine that met who? David. Judges 16 23. If you read it, the Bible will tell you the Philistines don't fight by might, they fight by power. And understand the power or understand their might or the power of their human strength. The Philistines fight by the strength of their gods. And in the days of the Philistines, their God gave them images. The men of yesterday never went to war. I thought military men would go to war with gun, breastplate, helmet. But the Philistines went to war always with images. I want to bring Bible to someone. Are you here? With images. So I studied my Bible in our reading. I said, At Samson was not just an ordinary man. But I will tell you, if you study your Bible, Second Samuel chapter 5. The Bible says in verse 17. When the Philistine heard that God has approved David, and David was anointed as king over Israel. The Bible said they lie in the waiting for David. They spread themselves in the waiting for David. Now, the anointing is equivalent to the level of battle you fight. God gives a man anointing in line with the battle. So if you study your Bible. The difference between David and Samson. Samson was anointed. But Samson was not prayerful at all. Listen now. What case Samson was not Delilah? 
was not the Philistine. The Philistine never had might. In other words, they never had power to arrest something. The man was anointed. What the dead? If we started in 23, 16 judges, the Bible says the Philistine went to their altar, to their God, and they begin to sacrifice. Sacrifice. They sacrifice human being. They request there. They say, Our God, give us something. We beg you. Give us something. They put bullocks. They put animal. They, they begin to sacrifice. They have different things. They sacrifice for one year. And their God told them, say, listen, let me tell you how to get something. Something is not prayerful. The only thing you can do to get something, find a woman. I studied my Bible, and not went in deep. I got to know that it was the Philistine. The God of the Philistine that revealed something secret to the Philistine. But the Philistine by might nobody could touch something let me tell you something problem something was anointed but the problem with him this probably anointed he was not in communication with God today we get many men and women in our days in our generation and like they said this to you be anointed does not qualify you. Being called does not qualify you. Being ordained does not qualify you. What keeps a man in direct tone with God to maintain a position is your communication with the commander. Follow me. Are you here? Are you paying attention? The Philistines say, we want something. The God said to Philistine, find a woman. Say her, you will get something. The God of the Philistine were not permitted to touch something because the God was anointed. The God was anointed, but the God was not prayerful. I studied something in life that have not been a day, that are people like that. They run around, I'm anointed, I'm anointed, I'm anointed, I'm anointed, I'm anointed, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I'm a Christian. 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 But more. I'm a Christian. 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 Characteristics of Christian, number one. Christians are not just mortal people. Christians, Percy. The first thing you do as a Christian, you must know how. To pray when, to pray where, to pray. Christian, you are a Christian. You can pray. You are not a Christian. You are a Christo, not Christian. Christo. Many years ago, two refugees did. They said they got crystal oil. They sleep. So we get crystal, we get Christian. Crystal sleep. Christian what? Awake. Prayer was made. We are seizing unto God. For who? For him. When you can pray, then you are qualified. But it doesn't matter how that you are. Something was jumping, depending on anointing. The Philistine were consulting, consulting. If you are here and you don't have altar behind your back speaking for you, <laughs> you don't have altar speaking for you, altars will speak against you. You must have altar speaking for you. One yes. The Philistine chanted to their God, donate, gave, donate. He said, get a woman, carry. If you go back and read it clearly, the Bible says, after they reveal something strange, they collected him, they destroyed him. Now watch this. When something was arrested, the team, frustrated, they brought him. Do you know what they said? Study very carefully. They said, our God. 
So what case Samson is not Delilah? Our God. A strange God. That is the reason why Elijah said to Ah, come on the mountain. Come up the valley. Come, 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 come. Come and know who be God. But hey, let the argument come to an end. If God be God, we will know. If the God of Israel be God, we will know. How do we know? Let go of the mountain. When the God of the mountain, Elijah relax. He said, pray. How do we know there is a God? There must be a praying generation. Not just a generation of man. When Marcus wrote in Bible, a praying generation. He said, pray. Pray. And he gave the opportunity to pray. And they pray. From money to low. They pray. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Can I hire an hour or to pray? That's what Elijah was saying. Can I hire an hour? You didn't need more time. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll stay here. I'll stay here. Pray, 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 pray. But pray for money to know that I'm men. It's not everybody passing with church, which is structure, and with Bible and microphone, like human being. I'm going to trouble here. It's not every vessel you see like human beings are. There are vessels that look like human structure, but there are some vessels go and say Isai. Am I going to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? If you need praying, say, Yeah, we pray. Well, okay. And our God, maybe he has gone somewhere to rest. And what about thing? The Elijah stood up on the mountain. He said, Bring wood. <laughs> he said, Bring rocks. He said, Bring water. He said, Soak the altar. Make sure. <laughs> Make sure that water consumes the entire altar. Elijah was so relaxed. They who know their God shall be strong. They shall do explore. I may know him. Then the power of his resurrection. The pastor said that I may know him. Elijah said, Place water on the altar. And they place enough water. Water on the altar. The altar was soaking with water. Elijah lifted up his eyes to heaven. He called for the God of his father, Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He said, Let fire come. Christianity is not casual. He said, Let fire come. We are not compromising anymore. Let fire come. Let fire come and collect this altar from here. I don't want it to happen in two hours' time. I want it to happen now. I don't want it to happen in three hours' time. I want it to happen now. Let fire come and consume the problem and consume the trouble. There are troubles carry on. There are troubles in your life. I say to you today, wherever you are, there is a fresh fire that is coming today. After I put the microphone down, that trouble is consumed. You destroy the altar, then you catch your uno, you kill them. Blood for blood, human being for human. Being. God said to Israel, He said, For your sake, I will kill somebody for you. For your sake, anyone that wants you dead, He said, For your sake, I will kill somebody for you. And let them leave you alone. They will not end the bond. I will kill somebody for you. For your sake, are you there? For your sake, I will kill somebody for you. For your sake. 
Elijah destroyed the altar. Is that what the men are behind the altar? Where are the men? I told you earlier, I said, the Lord said to me this year, from now to the end of December, evil men will be few. Anyone that is in a habit exporting and importing strange God into the land, the God of the land is already angry. That ain't sound like you are a suspect already. Amen. You say amen, the cash fire. Amen. 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 Let me give you this prophecy. Keep it. The God I say, say my son, he said, listen, he said, my son will do the killing. People are lobbing into ceiling for this land, praying for this land. Listen, gentlemen, it will not end until the weaker people get on the flight. Any strange power that have been imported in this land that belongs to Jesus. You say, Amen. The owners are falling down there one by one. Amen. I said they are falling there. Amen. They are falling there. Amen. They are falling there. 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 Holy God. Are you ready to bring their autos down? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Are you here? Are you here? Yes, sir. Whatever you find yourself this evening, by the special grace of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that instrument that we are a, they can do nothing. We are demonic altar. There is no demonic power. <laughs> we are evil altar. There is no evil power. If you want to frustrate them, destroy their altar. Once you destroy their altar, maybe they will relocate across or they will relocate somewhere else. But I think I suggest either they relocate in the sea or they relocate in the manor river or they relocate in the sea. You say amen. We relocate them in the sea. Yeah. If you are not be let the air come to land. Yeah. In the name of Are you here? Something like, something like, the Bible said, the Philistines said, Our God, <laughs> our God has delivered something into our head. That altar is a nonsense. Our God has delivered something into our head. You refuse and reject it. You are not permitted to be delivered to any satanic altar. They cannot use your eyes. They cannot use your nose. They cannot use your head. Anything they take from you, from your back where your front way, from your yard, maybe the sand in your yard, or the tree in your yard, or the leaf in your yard, anything they take to bear altar against you. You say amen. That black cash fire. Amen. I say cash fire. Amen. If you are in Liberia, shout the lava and I yet to run. Amen. Shout fire. Fire. Only a hog. Take chicken baby. And the chicken begin to cry. But that God cannot take lion baby. I connect myself to you by relationship as a man of God. Once you belong to this commission, you are extra. Once you are just a guest, I put you on the other side. When I just get to know you, I put you in my palm. And the power looking for you anyway. If they try to harm you, only go frustrate them. 
Amen. I say Holy Ghost for strength. Amen. Holy Ghost for strength. Amen. Holy Ghost for strength. Amen. I can hear your amen. Amen. In the name I preached for ten years. But for the past four years, I can tell you for free, all talk have been demolished. For the past four years, I've seen people who walk out of satanic altar to our base, to where we're coming from. We see altar catch fire every service. There have not been no service, we have not seen the move of God. Each time in our services, we see altar that help people catch fire in one day time. If you bow your own ear today, and you don't know a follow you to come here, in the next two minutes to come, what you are a Christian or whoever you are, or you are here as a cash up person, and there is an altar that is around you, and you don't know it is around you. I speak fire, 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 fire. Destroy, spot, scatter, bring down, sell it on fire. Destroy, spot, scatter, bring down, sell it on fire. God up yourself together. God up yourself together, for it shall be broken in pieces. God up again, for it shall be broken in pieces. He said, God up yourself, for it shall be broken in pieces. He said, speak your word, for it shall not stand. He said, for God is with us. Speak your words, for it shall not stand. For God is with us. He said, God up yourself, God up yourself, for it shall be broken in pieces. I don't know how long they talk to build that thing in your knee. There are people the Lord is telling me, auto build in your knee. Auto build in the name of your children. Maybe they build that auto special in your knee. No wonder what things can improve. No wonder what the same that can be cured. That auto that is built in your knee. If you go to bed on the night or you go to bed after the service, you will see that auto on fire. Amen. I said you see it on fire. Amen. 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 Say fire. The young, the old, the big, the small, the fat, the slim, the short, the tall. If you are here tonight and there is an altar built in your knee and the altar is the many blood and they said they get more to give you or some of you are already fully giving you and you are passing, you are not aware that they give you no wonder why you see yourself looking like that you try to do something, it's not working you invest, nothing happening now you they give you as a sacrifice if they give you to an altar as a sacrifice as the altar rejected Jesus the altar they gave you to I see them putting you outside tonight yeah. That amen, if it is better, they are putting you outside. I said they are putting you outside. 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 So fire. Fire. Are you here? Hey. I feel God here. The deliverance has already started. How will you know where I started? I see you coming from out of the altar. I see them being relocated. Altar sacrifices are made. The main sacrifice is the altar. The demon blood. The demon head. In the book of King, a woman said to her friend, She said, Bring your son up, body, and eat it. And then after we eat my own, we eat your own little own. 
any altar that calling for your blood calling for anything that belongs to you some of you here you are feeling natural pain and you are feeling pain and you think like it's title responsibility now your leg is on an altar or your hair is on an altar or your body is on an altar on altar what they do they slaughter they slaughter people on the altar to refresh the altar they have to slaughter people any one of them that own an altar and they build it and they set the building in your name and they are standing on it every night every minute every second they are mentioning your name one 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 they call your knee every two three minutes they make sure your business name your career your destiny they all are calling your soul you find yourself sleeping you are on the water you are back in the village you are in monovia but your life is like to say you are still living in west point you've been in monovia for five six seven years but nothing better of you when you go to bed at night you will find yourself back in the classroom back in the village black in the school Back in the farm. What are you doing in the farm? You left the farm five years ago. You're not in Moravia. But when you saw yourself in class, you were studying. After studying, you forgot to find yourself in an office. Not back in the village. And the auto bill that is always calling people, calling people, calling people, calling you, calling your, calling your brother, calling your sister. People that have traveled, go abroad. Five years, six years, the dead. They find themselves back to Liberia. They keep asking themselves, what am I doing here? How can did I come here? What happen to me people get a job they work for one month and the next month they sat there and they asking and say what have i done where anywhere i go i can spend three months four months they will put me down why are they putting me down now I know there is an altar that they used to call your knee they build that altar in your knee that is the reason why anything you will not say you go to school no matter what they teach your friend your own will not enter your head you will find yourself under the water going to school but in reality when you go to school you can understand nothing you are better junior student for the past 10 years you can graduate for each time it is a semester for you to graduate your hand will go down no money to pay school fee you've been struggling and struggling people think you don't want to go to school but you're making effort and effort and effort but now know there is an author speaking against you say you will not learn you will not learn you will not learn you will not learn because they know when you learn you will help your family your brother your sister when you learn you advance when you learn you push forward when you learn you go ahead if there are authors like that build in your knee to stop you to slow you down that altar wherever the building against you i pray for you if i be a prophet of the living god wherever you are that altar part around you Ibarogateya e shatela the owners of the altar today I stand on this pulpit wherever they are I call them I summon them under the virtue of the Holy Ghost the altar that chain you and said you will not go nowhere that put you in prison you have tried you have made effort anything you do you step into the same place to the mothers the father the brother those of you that study you go to school you learn some of you that want to travel you have attempted on so many occasions you spend money they will bounce you you spend money they will send you back today the altar that is built against your family that they are using against you that altar has been in necessity for the past 20 years and now you are 30 years old it is that altar that says you will never settle you will never get a man you will never get a woman it is that altar that says you will get empty certificate there will be no office for you anywhere you take your document application they will pull it down they can look at it it takes for four years five years they can call you you been for office to office so you have labor beyond that job beyond that office but yet they can promote you you can see promotion and you are asking what is happening i'm telling you it is the altar pure against you that they are using to charm you that altar that causes you to go at that level and you find yourself coming back today that is the end of that altar if i be a man of god individually wherever you are across the road across the field under the canopy pastors mothers brothers sister father yeah outside in regular land viewers around the world now i declare if i be a prophet under your feet where you are standing i collect the power of the 
Holy Ghost be permitted by Jesus of Nazareth. I command the power of the Holy Ghost as a magic and lady against the altar that hold you down. Say you will not finish school. You will not practice this. You will not do the one. You will not advance. Instead of going on, you will come back. Today is the final battle. The